hopefully. Blah, blah, blah. Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a first impression on the Rodin and Fields Radiant Defense Foundation. So it came in six colors and I've already pulled out three of them in little blister packs. These are the colors I did not use. So I did not use Espresso, Almond, or Golden. Um, however, in the little blister packs, it took three of them to basically cover my face. And... Um, yeah, those are a hot mess. So anyways, my initial impression is that I, I like how it sits on the skin. Um, my makeup did blend well with it, so no problems there. So let's hear a little bit about the Radiant Defense. Then we're also going to do an all-day wear test, and today is going to be a really long day. So we're going to put this baby to the test straight out the gate. Um, so the Radiant Defense is a perfecting liquid. It has SPF 30, and you're going to hear that I feel like there was some either oil or something um, like cream in the foundation. So I'm wondering if it's the F SPF 30, but it says it helps to repair the moisture barrier and defend skin. All right, I'm in. While the natural looking shades flawlessly perfect and color correct. Our proprietary complex with antioxidants help boost skin's ability to defend itself from free radicals caused by environmental aggressors. Plus, this multitasking final step to your skincare routine immediately blurs imperfections without clogging pores, and that's huge. You, you'll experience skin so fresh and radiant. Makeup is optional. Not for this girl. Makeup is not optional. Some of y'all women have it. I don't. So basically it says, see how it pairs perfect, uh, perfectly with the all Rodin and Fields regimen. So if you use the Redefine, it instantly minimizes the appearance of fine lines and pores and helps defend skin against environmental aggressors. If you use the reverse grouping, it instantly and visibly evens out skin tones, helps defend skin against environmental aggressors. I guess that one's just across the board now that I see it. Soothe, if you're using the Soothe group, instantly minimizes the look of red blotchy skin. And y'all know I have red blotchy skin, so that is true. Helps defend skin from environmental aggressors. Then the unblemish is it instantly minimizes the look of breakouts and acne scars. So basically, in a nutshell, it it performs like many um, many uh, foundations. Whew, can't speak today. So these little blister packs are basically for you to be able to use as uh, color swatches. And um, again, I had to mix three to get a full coverage over the face. And so, yeah, we're, we're just going to see how this actually works all day. So I'm very, very curious. Um, as far as Rodan and Fields goes, I have done another video, and I'll try to put the link below. But I really like their, their skincare. So I use bits of the Redefine. I don't use all of the steps in the Redefine. I've got certain bits that I like better than others. So I reorder the bits that I like. But I do like the Rodan and Fields across the board. The only thing is Rodan and Fields is not price um, conscious. So if you're if you're on a budget, Rodan and Fields is going to be very hard sometimes to afford. And um, so with that, that that part is the only downside. However, I do like the line. Um, I, if you can put it in your budget, I'd say it's well worth the expense because it they're fantastic products. So anyways, and that is not sponsored. That is not sponsored. So anyways, we're going to get into this video. So stay right. tuned. So good morning. We are going to try the Rodin and Fields. I got um, a little sample bit. And so we're going to have fun with that doing an all-day wear test. Miss Sis, I got my PJs on. So we're going to start the day that way. All right. Um, as always, I like to use the makeup primer spray. It's oil control from Scandinavia. In this little bubble pack, we've got four colors, shell, beige, sand, and golden. I'm hoping there's enough to do 
my face. So I've opened all three to do a mixture of color in hopes that I have enough to do my full face. And I'm trying to scrape whatever I can off those three bubble packs. Okay, so we've got the foundation on. I'm going to take a kind of close look. So the foundation is sitting nice on the skin. I don't see any creasing and it feels like it has, I'll have to read it. It feels kind of maybe that it's probably better for dry skin. It has a, not oil feel, maybe a lotion feel. So I'm not sure how this is going to sit up on my face the whole day, but we're going to find out. So I'm going to keep going with my makeup and see how the rest of the makeup sits um, for us to start the day. So, okay, so my makeup has been applied and let's take a look. So everything has set up pretty nice on the skin. Um, the concealer I used was Last and Foundation Concealer. So that looks like it's blended in really nice. Everything looks like it has set up really good. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray to set this. So we're going to see how this performs all day. And it's going to be a really long day, so we're going to put Rodan and Fields to the test. So stay tuned, because okay, here we go. Okay, so it's been about an hour and a half since I put on the powder, setting spray, etc. And as far as the Rodan and Fields goes, I think we're seeing, I mean, everything's set in it nice. It's looking pretty good still. So... I think we're good to go for a little bit longer, a lot longer. It's got to last a lot longer. So yeah, this is just about an hour and a half in. But again, all my makeup set up really nice on it. I, I don't see any creasing. And yeah, so we're just hoping for a good makeup day. We're always hoping for a good makeup day. Okay, so end of literally 14 hours. Just got home, late day. All over the place all over the place and you can tell I'm looking a bit tired the one thing that's really hard when doing these long work days when you have meetings back to back for four you know basically 14 hours is that I I try to not touch up or I don't touch up and so I didn't so I just you know I felt bad for my last meeting of the day because I look like I just got socked in my eye I think the Rodan and Fields actually held up pretty well. Let's get close and personal. Okay, so we're close and personal. My chin held up pretty nice overall. I I did lean my hand a little bit, so that's where you see a bit of that. You can kind of see the collection of the foundation kind of pulling together, but at a distance, I'm hoping that no one could see that. Now, on the side of my nose, you can see I'm missing a bit of my nose, and then I have it kind of in the crease there. And then I'm missing this side of my little nostril. Around the edge where I don't get oily, I think it did good. And my forehead, for the most part, has not separated or doesn't look like my chin. Kind of really nice there and I'm hoping, oh you didn't get to see my forehead. So the forehead didn't change a whole lot which is good. So I'm gonna zoom back out. I've got somehow just one paper. So I'm gonna pull off some of the oils and we'll see what it does. I only had one little piece of paper. It did come off on the paper. Oh that was the other thing. So as I used my cell phone today, that was the other thing I noticed. Like I kept having to wipe my cell phone front cover clean. So I'm thinking really this foundation is more for dry skin women because I think at the time frame that about an hour in you could kind of start seeing the oil coming through and then I took a picture at 3.30. I took a picture to kind of show the oils coming through. So overall now that I pulled that off the oil off um it doesn't look like it pulled off any, a lot of the foundation. It pulled off some, 
But I really think this foundation would be good for more dry skin ladies and not as oil, for oily skin. So I think with this, this brand, where they have different skincare routines for different women, the Redefine, Reverse, Soothe, or Unblemish, I really think they need to look at when they're doing their foundation to kind of have the same. Um, I, I don't believe one foundation fits all skin types. From my perspective, I think this one is more for dry skin. I would like to hear from some oily skin women. Do you feel the oils um, kind of come through on this foundation quicker? If you have dry skin, how does that work with your dry skin? I'm really, really curious because I love Rodan and Fields and I wanted to be 100% in love with this foundation. Um, I think overall it it's pretty good, but I'm just worried it's not going to work for my oily skin long term, especially because it comes off on everything. I, I noticed when I closed my laptop, I must have touched my face because when I touched my laptop, it had gotten on my fingers, so my laptop has fingerprints. So I do, this transfers quite a bit. So anyways, I want to hear your thoughts. I want to hear them. Post them. Hello, Let's my name is Anne. Nope. Not hello, but not goodbye for now. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video using the Rodan and Fields Radiant Defense Perfecting Liquid. I hope this gave you an idea of whether you should purchase it or not. Keep in mind, I do have oily skin, so um, test results will vary if you're oily versus dry, but I do hope that this video at least gave you a lot more um, insight to purchasing this foundation from Rodan and Fields. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, thoughts, concerns, please put those below. And as always, you have a choice, so let's make it a great one. Until next time.